Hi, today I'd like to show you the movement of the anhydros here and this beautiful and rare natural crystal. Now this is Schengen Quartz from the Chimbuku Mine. I do have this zoomed in right now, so hopefully you can uh, see the movement of the anhydros a bit better here. There's two of them right here. There's one right up in there where my thumbnail is at, right in this area. The other one is right over here in this area where my thumbnail is at. If you can see uh, when I safely and carefully turn the crystal, can you see some of the movement right there, both of them? There we go. Can you see the movement? Now I have this zoomed in, and I also have this in good and proper backlighting also, so hopefully you're able to see the movements here, these in hydros better. Normally they're very hard to see and find, so I wanted to make sure that everyone knows and is aware of that. What I'd like to do here is I'd like to pause this so I can zoom back out, and then I'll briefly uh, show you some more of this crystal and talk about some of the metaphysical properties of this as well. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to pause this so I can uh, zoom back out. And I will be right back. Okay, and I am back. This is the size of this crystal here. And this is 59 grams. This crystal is from Zimbabwe, from the Chibuku mine. This is amethyst, smoky, and clear quartz, and this is also the anhydro crystal, and I was able to show you some of the movements. And also, some individuals may feel that this is a dolphin crystal here. And also, if you can see here, let me turn this over and show you, right down in here, that's a termination. Then also, right up in here is another termination, so this is double terminated. But if you were to look right in here, some individuals may feel like this is a scepter crystal also, just so everyone knows and is aware of that. This is self-healed, if you can see, right in this area. And not all self-healed crystals look the same because they do have different processes within their growth patterning, just so everyone knows and is aware. And this does have uh, some little phantoming patterns in some areas. It's like an upside down V shape right in here. Sometimes it's really hard to see and find though, just so everyone knows and is aware of that as well. And this crystal is also cathedral, which is a form of library. This is a skeletal lestio also. And this does have a uh, record keepers they're like partial record keepers in some areas if you can see like right in this area over here and over here partial uh, triangle shapes this has some beautiful rainbows in certain areas as well the other record keeper if you can see right over here triangular shape also right over here Before I get started though on some of the metaphysical properties, I wanted to make sure that I'm able to show you that if you can notice here on this crystal, it has it on numerous areas. This has like natural markings, nicks, scratches, chips, little like holes, imprints, indentations, also like contact markings. That's because it's taken this type of crystal a very long time to grow and form in nature as these crystals they're growing and forming in close proximity to one another. And you know, it could take them plenty of time to do that also. So they have plenty of time where they can like poke and scratch each other, leave these natural markings and nicks, scratches, chips, holes, imprints, indentations, and rough spots. You can see like right in this area, which this is either like a calcium carbonate or a calcitony. It feels rough in some areas. But this is all just naturally occurring in nature, and it's part of the very long, beautiful growth process. So I did want to make sure, though, 
that everyone knows and is aware that this does have the natural uh, markings and nicks, scratches, chips, holes, imprints, and indentations. You can see some of the anhydros moving in there now a bit better. And also throughout this video, I'm definitely going to be turning a lot and turning this crystal a lot also, just so everyone knows and is aware of that. So hopefully you're able to see this in full and better details from some different angles. And the water that's inside of this crystal, now this is reported to be extremely pure, having never been touched before by human hands ever. And also us as humans, we have water inside of us as well. And it's also reported that uh, we have a very profound connection with the anhydro crystal as well because of that. Look at those beautiful colors here. Out here in the sunshine, you can see where the amethyst, it appears so vivid and so bright in certain areas in the sunshine. Such a very beautiful and very rare natural crystal. And also this crystal is uh, newly discovered from about the 2019 time frame. And within different types of crystal healing sessions and meditation techniques, a lot of different individuals, they've reported this to be very like healing, very grounding, balancing, purifying, nurturing, supportive, inspirational, very spiritual, and also very protective. Individuals, they call this crystal the amulet of protection also. This may help to like guard and protect you, your loved ones, also your home, your property, and your belongings. This may help to guard and protect. This may also help you with ascension and on your journey to enlightenment. But a lot of different individuals, they feel with the, the Schengen Quartz that this is a crystal that's made for like a leadership abilities and a talisman for like feminine power and also for self-confidence. There's individuals though that feel like this is only uh, beneficial for that and that this is not very healing at all. Then I have other individuals who feel like, yes, this is very healing and very spiritual, protective, grounding, nurturing, centering, balancing, all of those qualities. Plus, this is like a, a talisman for women who are looking to increase and improve their leadership abilities and qualities. So I just wanted to make sure that everyone knows and is aware that this is a crystal that does work different for different individuals. And if you were to keep this type of crystal with you very safely and carefully near your work environment or like a healing treatment space, this may also help you to activate, increase, and improve your uh, mental clarity. This may help your mental health, your mental sobriety. This may also help your mental wisdom. This may help your focus, your concentration. This may help you uh, to be better organized and this may also help you to have more structure within your life, individuals have reported. This is also reported to help you to increase and improve your learning abilities and your problem solving skills. Amethyst is reported to be like the great problem solver of the crystal world and also an all purpose healer. This may help your communication skills and listening skills also. This may help to increase and improve your leadership abilities and qualities, your bravery, your courage also. This is also reported to be very beneficial to help to increase your creative energies. And this may help you with the expansion of your imagination. And also the expansion of your consciousness. Individuals have reported this beneficial for. This may help you with like inner strength. And also this may help uh, your like inner clarity and your intuition. This may help you to make better decisions and like reach and accomplish your goals. Also individuals have reported. This may help to increase your energy, which may help you to increase your work productivity. This is also reported to help you to bond closer to your coworkers and your colleagues. If you can see right there where my thumbnail is at, it's right in there. There's an anhydro bubble, it only has a tiny amount of movement, and I'll show you here when I turn the crystal. Can you see it only has a very tiny amount of movement? It may be very hard to see. If I see it again, 
I will definitely come back to it because it looks like it's right there where my thumbnail is at. It's right there, I can see it. It's hard to catch though on a film sometimes on the video. Okay. This is also reported to be very beneficial to help you to remove and reduce the electromagnetic smog and radiation from the environment that's emitted from like computers, cell phones, TVs, radios, microwaves, fax machines, and all types of electronic devices. This may help you to feel like more revitalized, re-energized, and also refreshed. And amethyst is also a stone of attraction. This may help you to attract the energies that's needed to attract like a soulmate and more like loving, high vibrational, positive types of energies to your life. Individuals have also reported that this is the perfect type of crystal to give to your crush to let them uh, know that you're ready for more commitment and love and devotion within your life as well. This may help to bond you closer to those you love and care about. And this may help any type of relationship to heal, succeed, prosper, and flourish. Whether it's like a friendship, a family relationship, a business relationship, or a romantic relationship. This may also help you to rekindle like that spark and that passion like when you first got together, individuals have reported. This may help you to have more empathy, kindness, patience, acceptance. This may help you to have like more forgiveness in your heart. And also this may help you with reconciliation. This is a crystal also that may help you to have more trust and more stability within your relationship. And this is reported to help you to balance out anything that this is placed near. There's also individuals that feel like this has a very like a protective, nurturing energy, like a mom would have with her child. This is a crystal also that's reported to be extremely beneficial for meditation, and this may help you to achieve like deeper meditative states. This may help you with like guided and unguided meditation, individuals have reported. This may help you with dream work shamanic journeys, angel work, light work, grid work, even body healing layouts. This may help you with psychic protection and protection during like ceremonial work, spells, and even protection during rituals. This may also help you with like moon rituals, rainbow goddess rituals, and banishing rituals. Even like love and money rituals, individuals have reported this beneficial for. This is also reported to be extremely beneficial for grounding, and this may have to ground you to Mother Gaia and even bond you closer to Mother Earth and Mother Nature, individuals have reported. This may help you with soul healing, self-healing, karmic cleansing. This may help to balance the meridians and also balance uh, the yin and the yang elements. And this may also help you when you're working with your shadow self. This may help to balance like the male and the female energies, also individuals have reported. This is reported to be extremely beneficial to help you to remove and reduce negative energies from people, from places, from things, and also to remove the negative energies from the environment. This is also reported to help you to get rid of like evil, even like a lower level entities and unwanted energy attachments. This may also help you with Reiki, Feng Shui, this may also help you with like astral projection, astral travel assistance, and past life healing assistance. This may also help you to promote and provide a direct link to the Akashic Record. And this may help you to access ancient wisdom and knowledge also individuals have reported. Individuals have also reported that this is a type of crystal that's beneficial to gift to someone who's terminal. This may help to like comfort their fears about dying and transitioning to the other side. And this may help to guide souls safely to the other side, individuals have reported. 
This may help you to overcome like heartache and trauma, and this may help to comfort you in times of grief and sorrow. Individuals have reported that as well. This is also a crystal reported to help you to attract good luck, love, wealth, good health, prosperity, positivity, and more abundance to your life. This is reported to be uh, beneficial for emotional healing, emotional balance, emotional strength, and also for emotional maturity. And this may help you with spiritual growth and spiritual guidance, spiritual protection, spiritual progression, with spiritual healings, spiritual cleansing, and even individuals have reported this beneficial for spiritual awakenings. This may help you to reclaim any missing or lost soul fragments also individuals have reported. This is also reported to be very healing, cleansing, balancing, purifying, and protective for your auric fields, and this may also help to repair your auras. And individuals have reported that this may help you to like open and activate, cleanse, harmonize, balance, re-energize, realign, and that this can work with all of the chakras also. This is a master healing quartz crystal, and this may help you to heal through almost any ailment or illness that is affecting you also. Different individuals are reporting different types of abilities though, but this may help like your circulation, this may help your circulatory system. This may also help within some blood diseases and disorders. This may help the heart. This may also help the veins. This may also help with some like uh, minerals within the body. This is reported to be very beneficial to help the brain and the thymus. Individuals have also reported that this may help with issues related to dementia. This may help to like strengthen the brain functioning. This is also reported to help the skeletal system. This may help your bones to heal, and this may help your spine and facet joint pain. This may help if you have problems with like arthritis, lordosis, arthrosis, rheumatism, osteoporosis, fibromyalgia, and this may also help with issues related to gout. This is also reported to help like your uh, feet, your ankles, even your hands, your knees, your hips, your eyes, your ears, your nose, and your throat. This may help the digestive system also. This may help the gastrointestinal tract. This is also reported to be beneficial to help you to alleviate some cramps. This may help the liver. This may help the respiratory system and your lungs. This is also reported to be beneficial to help within some cancer and radiation treatments. This may also help with issues related to tumors, also HIV and AIDS. This is reported to be like a natural antiviral and anti-inflammatory crystal, and this may help to alleviate some swellings and bruising. And this is a crystal also that's reported to help you uh, to alleviate some headaches. This may help with some minor issues of dizziness. This is reported to be beneficial to help with men and women's reproductive organs also. I've even had individuals report this is beneficial uh, for fertility, but remember everyone is different. This works different for different individuals. This may also help with some sexual dysfunction. Beautiful rainbows back in there, right over on this side. There we go, if you can see the rainbows a bit better. This is reported to help you to stimulate the pineal, the pituitary, and the endocrine glands. This may also help you to stimulate the immune system and promote cellular regeneration, and that's for a speedy recovery when you're not feeling well. This may help like the kidneys, the bladder, the gallbladder, pancreas, the spleen, and the thyroid. This may also help with some skin conditions. This may help with like edema. This may help with chronic fatigue. This is also reported to help you to remove toxins from the body, and individuals have reported this to be very beneficial to help you to remove and reduce addiction from your life as well. This may also help you to alleviate some of the feelings that's associated with withdrawal, detoxification, and addiction. Feelings such as like agitation, anger, aggression, bitterness, hopelessness, anxiety, stress, sadness, even like depression, guilt. This may help you to remove and reduce those types of feelings if you're experiencing that. This is also reported to help with like food addiction, sex addiction, drug addiction, 
This may help you to not want to smoke or drink as much, also individuals have reported. This may help to increase like your uh, willpower, your perseverance, your drive and your determination. This is reported to help to balance out anything that this is placed near also. This is also reported to be extremely beneficial to help you to activate, increase, and improve your psychic abilities. Abilities such as like clairaudience and clairvoyance, ESP, intuition, telepathy, prophecy, divination. This may also help with scrying and channeling, precognition, psychic visions, and when you're working with portals and automatic writing and different individuals, they're reporting different types of abilities over different time spans just so everyone knows and is aware of that. This crystal is also called the crystal of the angels, and this may help you to facilitate communications with angels and spirit guides. This may help you to access and feel their love, their guidance, their wisdom, and their protection. Not just the angels and the spirit guides, but this may also help you uh, to facilitate communications with the archangels, even nature spirits, elementals, water divas, the ancestors and the elders, spiritual teachers and ascended masters, the earth and minerals, plants and animals, ghosts and orbs, goddesses, fairies, divas, beings of energy, beings of light. Also with beings from other realities and dimensions and distant star beings, this may help you to facilitate communications with. This may help to like cleanse your environment, cleanse other crystals and cleanse yourself. This may help to reconnect you to like nature and the universe, even reconnect you to other individuals. And also this may help you to reconnect to yourself as well. This may help you if you're experiencing problems with sleep issues and this may help you to have more peaceful and restful sleep. Individuals have reported that this may help you to get rid of like bad dreams and nightmares also. This may help with lucid dreaming, insomnia. This may help you remember your dreams from spirit guides and loved ones who've crossed over and individuals have also reported this may help with issues of sleepwalking. This may help with like goodwill, altruism, brotherhood, generosity. This may help you to continue to be the very best you that you can be. This may also help you to like increase your survival instincts and skills and this does offer so many more metaphysical properties. Thank you so very much everyone for taking the time to view this. I truly do appreciate it. And I definitely will remark where the anhydros are at so hopefully you're able to see them a bit better. Remember they're very hard to see and find. You need magnification and safe proper backlighting. And remember, this does offer a lot more metaphysical properties. I was just touching base on a few of them. And I appreciate everyone, and I hope that everyone has a very beautiful and wonderful day. Thanks.